Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an episode that to be fair I never thought in a million years I would have to make These are mad times we live in, mad! They are indeed Douche! Uh, that's a <laughs> Look so, here we have Holy Quran Ah, look at that, Surat Al-Fatiha You guys oh. see Surat Al-Fatiha here? Good job! You, you, do you really, do you really think? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! He needs God. some milk. Do you really think? I, I didn't that, expect that at all. <laughs> you got um, you did. That's how they do rukia. So you must be uh, cured of your gin now. You're not funny. Of your magic spells on you. You suck. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> That's your response? Let me show you my response. I've got a Bible too. Yeah, let's go to the first chapter. You went to the first chapter. Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, you ready now? You ready? Huh? Nah, man. We don't do that. We don't stoop to your level. In fact, the Bible I've kept this Bible for many years, mint condition, look at that. And I took it off the top shelf because my religion does not allow me to desecrate the holy books of other religions. <laughs> this is the glory of Islam. This is the truth of Islam, like the Prophet peace be upon him. When he was being stoned by the opposition, he still prayed, he still prayed for their guidance. That's our legacy, that's who we follow. David, Apus and the other guy, who do you follow? What do you follow? That you are humiliating yourselves. I mean nobody else has to do that, you're doing it yourself. Now forever, this will be attached to your name. The people from the podcast that they were eating the Quran. That's that's literally, that's the end of the line mate. You can't come back from something like that. There's nothing that you can say that can justify you doing something as dopey as this. In fact the word stupid I think they have to even scrap the definition because when they open the dictionary if your face is not there then they have done an injustice to that word frankly. <laughs> if you follow these people, this is God accepting your prayer and showing you that the people that you're following do, <laughs> do this. Hello darkness my old friend. Are you okay? Are you alright? I've come to talk with you. You pigeon-hearted pusillanimous weasel. You okay? Because a vision okay. softly creeping. Is, is he okay? Like seriously, the only two individuals that would even consider eating a holy book is somebody that's under the age of one or somebody who's not fully occupied up there mate. And even these people have standards. And my other thought is, I mean, just get your wife to take some cooking lessons, you know what I'm saying? If she's not feeding you, please. So, <laughs> and look at the ex-Muslims that are there on his right and on his left, laughing and joking. Ex-Muslims, I don't think Islam is the only thing you guys left behind. I think you left behind your humanity and your common sense as well. If I was on a podcast with Ali and Muhammad Hijab and any one of those two started doing that, I would immediately call them out on it and they would do the same to me. Fact. In fact, I would leave that podcast. How can somebody who claims that they have the truth behave like that? <coughs> and David Wood and the Christians that support you, he's got half a million subscribers. Those Christians that support him, it's now time for you to come out and condemn his actions. Anytime something happens, oh Muslims, you're not condemning your deed. Now it's your turn, yeah? Even your big scholar William Lane Craig has fraternized with David Wood, he's gonna need to come out and say something now, yeah? Disassociate yourself with him, otherwise you're bringing shame to your religion. 
And it's ironic that the surah that he had to be eating was Surah Fatiha. That towards the end, that there is a dua, there is a prayer. Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. The path of those whom you have favored, not of those who have earned your anger and gone astray. Going astray, that refers to Christians like this. Yep, read the tafsirs. It's ironic, you know. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. <laughs> Dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Assalamu alaikum.